cannot believe I found more Lucite grapes. I'm totally gonna be buying myself an extra scoop of ice cream on my cone today. <laughs> Today I decided to stop at Captain's Treasure. I think it's half off day, so let's get inside. Okie dokie. What is today? Hey, it is. Oh, and it looks like they filled up. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm totally getting it. Let's see the price. Oh, 40. Okay, so that'd be 20. I can't do it. Some stained glass for five. Let's see if there's anything weird down here. I mean, that's left in. Um, they're not too, too popular. I'm gonna leave that. Kind of cool. It has um, butterflies. Huh. A lot of times people use um, real flowers. I forget the name of it. It'll come to me. <laughs> Anything in the case? Vintage. Golf ball. Let me see about these. Oh, I can already see the arm is broken off. They look collectible. Ooh, look how pretty that is. <sighs> Bradford Exchange. I like it, actually. Let me see this one. And how much would this be? That'd be 20. That's, um, Yadro for 25. Alright, I wonder if we're gonna be able to find anything to resell. I keep picking that up, it's resin. <laughs> Every time I come here. Those are plastic. Oh, this is kind of nice. It is art glass, um, probably made in China. That'd only be $2. Uh, I think I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna do it in tonight's sale because I have a lot of glass. All right, is that Raku? This one I can't tell. I mean, it is kind of light. I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna leave it. All right, any glassy babies? These are cute. They're um, a resin. Faith and hope. Let me see if there's any lucite. You know I have to check it every, every time I'm here. <laughs> hope I don't see any. Of course I have to look for pottery mugs. Home and garden party. I like the orange on that. Uh, a lot of us is not priced. Gallery. Cafe. Oh, look at this one. Cat mug. <laughs> S-E-I. There's any Waterford or... Oh, this is made in Italy. For $4. I'm gonna think about that. Only because it's clear. It does have a cool design on it. Oh, I can already tell that's not. I accidentally left that Waterford Crystal pitcher. Look at that. Is that um, Avon? Ah, uh, don't break. Ooh, I can't tell, but it'd be four dollars. But no, I think I'm gonna, going to try it. I'm gonna do it in tonight's sale. 
Yeah, I'll do that. It's only four dollars. I like this oil lamp, but it's missing the shade, the original shade. It, was, it would go right here. Um, that'd be a dollar fifty though. There's some Indiana glass. I like the green satin for five dollars. There's a clear Fenton Bell. It'd only be two dollars. I never just seen a clear one before. I think I'll do that for yeah, I have to for only two bucks. With a sticker on it, definitely put it in. And maybe there is some vintage Halloween or Christmas decorations. We always have trouble finding holiday items. These are cute. Some ornaments. And that one's a little bit older. Nothing that is really worth reselling though. There's Michael's chair again. <laughs> It'd be a hundred dollars. <laughs> Perfumes. Um, this one, the tip is broken off, but this one will only be three dollars. And I'm gonna do that. And uh, look at this one behind here. Yeah. What the heck? All right, I'm gonna leave that one. Cause I don't think that's the original stopper, but this one, definitely. It's a uh, Christopher Radko. Christopher Radko is, um, that'd be $10. What is that, a music box? That'd be, yeah, ten dollars. Yeah, I totally, I put it up in the front. I think that one sells for over a hundred, so I'll definitely spend ten. There's Michael's flask. <laughs> That's a nice yellow pitcher. I'll see a price on it. All right, I need to see if that Waterford pitcher, ooh, Waterford pitcher is still here. It's probably gone. Oh no. But anyway, it's not worth too much. I looked it up, it's worth like 40 bucks. This one is pretty. I like that. Probably my casa. That only be four. Here's some milk glass. Um, Westmoreland. It has the English hobnail. Looks like um diamonds. That will be three three dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the milk glass. <laughs> All right, I'm not seeing anything else. This is everything we're getting, plus the milk glass and the Christopher Bradko. Let's go to our next stop. Decided to stop at Salvation Army. Let's get inside. Okie dokie. Ooh, a cart right here. Let me see what... Okay, I can already tell it's newer. There's some pottery for $1.49. I like the design on that. All of the blue. Some spongeware. It's pretty, um, vintage. How much is that? $8.99. Oh, look at this mug. Super mug. Look how big it is. <laughs> That's a lot of coffee. That's probably like a half a pot in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. I cannot just find this again for three ninety nine. Oh my god. I cannot believe I found more lucite grapes. 
I'm totally gonna be buying myself an extra scoop of ice cream on my cone today. <laughs> Any more lucite? I like this. Made in China, it's pretty. Is a big floor base. Hi. How much is it? Twenty one ninety nine. Ooh, I like it. I mean, it is newer, but I might get that for my room. <laughs> I got, now I can't be spending money. Yeah, next week we're going to Lake Placid, so I gotta save my money for that. Ooh, a stone critter for four forty nine. It's an owl. I don't know if I could spend that much though. I could probably make a, a little bit of money. Alright, I want more lucite grapes. <laughs> I can't believe I found them. Oh, here's one of those coffee. We, when we first started reselling, we got this. Um, I believe that's a utensil holder. It never sold. But now we have a booth. Yeah, that's $7. You gotta leave that. Might as well look in the metal section. It's a newer birdie for a dollar. Canister with grapes. This is the um, mid-century revival, I would say. <laughs> Definitely doesn't have the same quality as if this was made in the 50s or 60s. But still pretty. If you want the mid-century look for affordable price, that's not bad to pick up. Let's see if this is Waterford. It is not. $4.99. If that was like a couple bucks, I would pick it up. Back section, Michael left his coffee. I should get Michael that. <laughs> Some um, key decor. White section. Oh, look at the luster. I like that for $10. Not for ten. Here is a pottery bowl with some um, willows. Ooh, look at that! It's studio pottery. Ah, I love that glaze. I'm totally getting it. Oh, we like the pink with the blue. Ah. Hand wash only. Okay, it's a little bit heavy. I feel like that's gonna fall. Holiday section. Some Halloween. Michael socks. Put that back. <laughs> um, nothing too exciting. Pilgrim. What about this pumpkin down here? Ceramic. Oh, it's broken. Uh, that would have been perfect for the booth. Oh my gosh. I totally would have gotten that for the booth. All right, a lot of games. Oh, here's some Mountain Dew. Um, I looked these up before. They are vintage, but these ones don't sell for too much. Yeah, they'd be three dollars each. I'm going to leave them. I see a vintage. Don't know what that is. Are right, it supposed to? I don't know. I like it though. It reminds me of the Pyrex, um, the Red Birds. How much is that? Six dollars. Back here is some black plastic. No, black amethyst glass for three ninety nine. 
A lot of times Ellie Smith made um, the black amethyst glass, especially the ones with the flower frog. So I think I'm gonna pay $3.99. Why not? Let's see if there's any more Mary Frances bags. I kept thinking about it. That's why I came back here. I like the shape of that bag. Hmm. $5.99. Okay, I'm not seeing nothing with beads. She used a lot of beads. Alright, I didn't see any. I do like the red patterned leather. <laughs> I think that's for makeup. The clowns are still here. I'm gonna wait for those to go on sale and I'll buy them and see how much they sell for first. But I know Velda art is kind of popular right now. That one is totally 1970s made by Tara. All right, I want to review with everybody some items I'm going to be doing on Whatnot tomorrow, Friday the 29th at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, this, is, this isn't all I'm doing. I have more. <laughs> um, let's start with this beautiful vase. This is made in Spain. Um, by the stamp, it looks like it'd be vintage, but I love the design. It's similar to Talavera pottery. Next is, oh, this little um, brass pillbox, probably from 1920s, 1930s. Um, I got two of them. I think I'm just, I might do two of them. I got these at the flea market. I didn't show anybody that. Um, I think I spent $5 each on those. Um, and this I got, this is Costa Boda. Um, one of these sell for about 40 but this one has a tiny chip right there. Right on the base. So I'm starting that out low. Um, and one of our viewers said to go back to the barn and get this music box made in Japan. So we went back and got it. Um, I'm doing the Russian dolls. There are six of them. Um, some, some of the men have a little bit of paint loss. Like right here, she has paint loss. Which is kind of normal for the vintage ones. Oh, it's signed. Waka. <laughs> I'm trying to see what that date is. 1994, maybe? Hmm. But anyways, I love finding those. Um, and then I got these at the flea market, the church sale. These are handmade. Got both of those. I think I have starting out at 12 or 14. Um, the Clazine trinket box. I love finding these. Um, I never see the white, though. So this one is a little bit different. And they usually sell fast for us. And this doesn't have any damage. It's probably vintage, I would say. Next is the two beautiful art glass perfume bottles. I love the blue one. This one is awesome. It does have a little bit of sticker residue. I'm going to try to get that off. And then the pink one is beautiful too. Um, This one is Glass X Studio made in Taiwan. Um, oh, I just got this. <laughs> As you can tell, I just got it. Um, this is hand-blown glass, but this one is different. I never see one with a swirl in it. Um, almost reminds me of Mexican glass made in Mexico. But I absolutely love it in the applied handle. Alright, I got this when we were on vacation. I thought this would be perfect for Halloween. And this one is signed... 1997, um, I don't know what that says, <laughs> but look at the green in it. Sparkles, perfect for Halloween. That's why I put it next to her. This one is handmade. You can tell by the bottom and then her head wiggles a little bit, but that's fine. Um, yeah, it looks like they bought the head somewhere it's like at a craft store. They put it all together. I thought that was awesome because we never find Halloween. This is the antique vase, Bristol glass that I found at the flea market. Doing that. 
Oh, these. I just got these in the mail. <sighs> okay, so uh, Talavera Cat. This is the turquoise, but look at the back. I absolutely love the purple flowers. It matches perfect with a turquoise. And I have this little guy. Um, I thought he was signed Mexico. It's a little bird. I love the floral design. And I have more Mexican pottery coming in the mail. I'm going to be, that should be here before Monday. So I'm having a sale on Tuesday of all of the pottery I'm doing. Over here is the teapot. Um, I already forget who made it. Oh, it's Tivana. This has an awesome, awesome blue. It does have crazing. The inside is clean and has the wicker handle. And it matches the top. What do you know? <laughs> All right, over here I'm doing the cute bird feeding the baby bird. Look at that baby bird. It's so cute. Made in Japan. I'm doing the Nevada slot machine salt and pepper shakers. It does have a little bit of paint loss. These, the, um, the wood, woodpecker woodware, salt and pepper, let's take one out, okay, I can't believe I got that for a dollar, <sighs> um, the woodpecker woodware, hand painted Japan, um, it does have a little bit of paint loss, normally when I find these, most of the paint is already gone, then I have some plastic faceted grapes, you're going to get two of them. On this back here, I haven't listed yet. It's made in Japan, and it's a music box. Totally awesome. Amber. I should probably get this listed. It's perfect for Halloween. But it definitely has that mid-century modern look, which I love. Let me take that off now. <laughs> Alrighty, the next round of items is... Let's start with this. I love the dog salt and pepper shakers. They look really cute with a hat. Made in Japan. Um, I feel like this said Occupy Japan. No, it didn't. But this one just has a little bit of paint scratches. But they're in awesome condition for their age. Then I have the art glass paperweight. It has a little bit of Adventure Teen in it. Um, I love the swirl design. I feel like I had this before and I bought and sold it. Oh, this cat. This is a wooden cat. Hand-painted. Hand carved. Um, Pepe, I'm thinking that's made in Mexico. It is missing the tail. Um, I'm not sure if it was supposed to have a tail or you put your pen in there. Pen or pencil. So I'm gonna have to try that out. Next is the cute pixie elf. It has a glitter, it's an ornament or just a regular figurine. It does have a little bit of glitter loss right here. Um, no chips or crack on that. Then I found these four wooden coasters made in Japan, hand painted. I'm pretty sure that's hand painted. Yes, it is. Hand painted. Um, they look like they've been worn or used a little bit, but that just adds character. All right, next is the awesome, awesome find. This is Bill Campbell pottery. You know how we are with Bill Campbell. <laughs> Love finding it. There's the signature again. You can see the C and the scribble. Um, but look how beautiful it is with the blue. I don't know how he does that. Just drips down and then all these dots. I'm not sure if this is a oil diffuser or a vase. But I say you can use it for both. I think I have that starting out at $43.00. I think it sells for about 80, around 80 ish. Um, I'm doing the sugar, the um, Aunt Gertie, I think that's what it's called, <laughs> Aunt Gertie sugar. Um, this would be good for Halloween too. All right, then I'm gonna do the snuff bottle. Now, this one is weird, it's different from what I usually find the glass, just a regular glass. Um, this one is a little bit crooked on top. It's slanted. Um, I looked it over to see if there was any sterling silver marks. I didn't see any. But that is totally awesome. I love it. Then we have the cute 
tea set made in Japan. It definitely has like a mid-century modern vibe to it. It kind of look like dandelions. <laughs> and that's a cute vase. A cute Christmas vase made in... Or it's left in um, when I was washing it. The sticker washed right down the drain. Um, I remember it said left in made in Japan though. So it is a little bit older. Perfect for the holidays. This one is a terracotta. You put a candle in there and it lights up. They sell for about $40 on eBay. And it is signed with a cat. <laughs> cat ears. And over here is the Westmoreland. I don't think I showed anybody. Um, this is the great pattern, but this one is different. It has like a pearl iridescent. Norm normally when you find these, they're just plain milk glass. But it's even pearled on the... Um, iridescent on the inside. Let me show that. Yeah, look how pretty it is. <gasps> Ooh, I love it. And then this is the Boonton Wear. Um, definitely a mid-century modern vibe to it. It's a gravy boat. I did have a blue one, but when I was washing it, I noticed it was cracked on the handle. Then I'm going to do the International Silver Company nat Nativity set. How much was that originally? 17 That's probably from the 90s, I would say. So that's about right. So I'm doing that, and then I have some Halloween lights. So you get 10 lights. They're pumpkins. Jack-o'-lanterns. We're going to have to test this out because I didn't test it. Oh my gosh, so cool. I can't believe I found Halloween. Okay, let's test it. Yay, they work. Awesome. I can't wait to sell them. Now, if you want to save on shipping, um, just let me know and I could ship it without the box. And one of our viewers said she wanted to buy the two dolls that I got. I got this one and then the Ivy doll. Here it is. Hold on. Yeah, here's the Ivy doll. Totally awesome. I love the hair on it. Yeah, so just um, message me. You can email thethriftingtwins at yahoo.com. All right, that is it for now. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the whatnot. Um, we have a link in the description to get $15 off your first purchase. And I will see everybody tomorrow, Friday, at 8 p.m. on Whatnot. Bye for now.